Good morning. Sitting here drinking coffee. Very well rested. Man, we were all talking about we slept good last night. And I slept late. I'm usually awake by a little after 5. I didn't wake up until after 6 a.m. today. It's about 6.37 right now. And I'm just, I haven't even had breakfast or anything yet. So I'm going to probably be a little late this morning. But we're going to we're gonna start off with the plan of going like eight and a half miles to the base of Forrester and just kind of see how the day goes. We're supposed to have a couple river crossings today that may be a little more treacherous than what we've done so far. Um, once we get to the base of Forrester, we're going to see what time it is and kind of decide if we think we need to wait till morning for Forrester when the snow's hard or what, what the, our situation is going to be. The last look at that mountain. It's 725 and Fireball's already left. Hammer and I are just about ready to go. Man, a little late start for me. I got, I slept so good last night. The tents that are still here are probably people summiting today. So off we go and we're gonna figure out if we're doing eight or a hundred miles today. <laughs> All right, before we go, Hollywood, mm -hmm. Let's tell the fine folks of the YouTube world your thoughts on the initial climb of Mount Whitney and then the whole experience. Um, overall, it was worth it. I don't know that I would do it again at midnight. <laughs> it was very cold. I'm a very cold person. It's not my thing. Um, the climb was awful. I was having a lot of trouble breathing, probably from the elevation. And uh, I don't know. There was a couple snowy patches. They, they weren't too bad. Um, summit we had great weather and coming down was great but yeah it was rough it was a tough day yeah and you and I both had some moments going up like oh my gosh we still have this far left oh my gosh we still have that far left yeah, I definitely said some cuss words <laughs> that's gonna shock everybody yeah. um, I know at one point fireballs like hey guys we're almost there and to me that means we're like within point two or at least less than a mile. and we were still like three hours <laughs> from the peak it was over it was like two points something <laughs> away like that's not close at all we have two more hours of climbing <laughs> yeah overall it was, it was gorgeous though. like and i'm happy that it was there was no wind at the summit yeah it was great up there yeah. all right all right this little log bridge is the one that took me down yesterday Let's see if somebody fixed it or what the situation is today No filming, but I'm happy to report we both made it across with dry feet. <laughs> it is 8.03 a.m. We just got back to the junction uh, with PCT. So we're back on the PCT for the first time in two days, I guess, really. Um, not that we haven't been working hard with Whitney, but we just didn't get any... None of those miles count. Um, it seems, though, that pretty much all the through hikers do Whitney, unless they've done it several times. Or there's a few of the more seasoned people who just didn't want to add on the extra, the effort. But other than that, seems like most people do it. Hammer said yesterday, or Hollywood said yesterday morning, you know, guys, this could be the, what did you say, the highlight? This could be the highlight of our whole hike. Yeah. And I think, I think it probably will be. I mean, it's, it's hard to beat summoning the tallest mountain in the continental United States. Still been reflecting on that a little bit, the whole experience. But I better stop reflecting and start walking because we got miles to make today. You know, it's Hollywood to a Hollywood style rock hop. Perfection, dry feet all the way around. So I think the last creek crossing you saw was the one Hammer and I rock hopped. We picked up Fireball waiting for us at this last stream crossing. We were talking to two other hikers, I didn't video at all. It wasn't a bad crossing, I just did it in my Tiva sandals. It was maybe knee high, not too swift, um, but it was wide enough you had to ford it. So, we all got to cross that no problem. And we have a few more river crossings today. From what we hear, they get a little worse each time. So I don't know why. I know the rivers are something to be worried about, but 
I fear the steep snow way more than I do the water crossings. Maybe today's the day I change that around, who knows. But we're up here flat again for a minute after a big climb. And we are just going through beautiful pine forests. I reckon we're not gonna be able to rock hop this one. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Good job, Fireball! We all made it across. That first swift part on the other side was the only thing that was a little bit swift, but we all, all got no problem. Now we're sitting here gonna chug some water and filter some more. And then we have maybe only like 3.7 miles to camp and that's just before that is where it's supposed to be the swiftest crossing we have today. So we, once we get there, we'll decide what uh, the rest of the day looks like. There's your complete 360. Fireball made his leaf trail to walk all the way over here. She's saying it's warm, but since it's snow melt, I don't believe her. What do you think, Hammer? Hollywood? There's nothing warm about the PCT. <laughs> this is the coldest trail on earth. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been in the water all the way, like a little bit of a freezing cold ice bath. Hammer just got in. Fireball's been in. We've all been soaked. Hammer and I screamed a little bit more than Fireball did, I think. <laughs> she popped up saying, it's not bad, it's not bad, or something like I that. I breathe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't talk or you can't breathe. Um, so now we're trying to dry off and warm up a little bit. But yeah, you can see it's ice cold water. There's snow all around. Whew. But we are awake, that's for sure. That was our coffee. What an experience. <laughs> what did you say? I said, I like when I walk and I can feel the wind in between my leg hairs. That's right. She hasn't shaved her legs in a while. <laughs> I haven't uh, had that feeling ever before. <laughs> so we were finished. We had our lunch break. We all got in the water. We took some naked pictures by the snowy mountains in the water, which you'll never see. Um, now we have two more miles to this treacherous river crossing. Da -dun -dun -dun. And where we're at right now is actually called Bighorn Plateau. Look at this! Wow. Those mountains look so fun. We're probably going to have to climb half of them. Hope not. Try to tell not to breathe like videos. <laughs> and then I feel out of breath. All right, we're coming up on what's supposed to be this really swift, more treacherous crossing. All right, we've been working at this for 15 minutes, and so I've been up in it to my knees. There's still a spot at that crossing it looks like to be maybe thigh to hip deep. And 
we're trying to find a better space, but so far it's fast. I don't know if you can hear me right next to the water. I yell here. We made it across safe. Hammer and I ended up coming back here and to the actual trail crossing. We went at the same time. I mean, it was a little swift, but it really wasn't bad. I never felt unsafe once we got out in it. Fireball went the other way and we were waiting for her to come back. And then she comes walking down the other side of the river, crossed by herself. Fireball's mother needs to call her and yell at her. I found the same spot. I was trying she to had to be her. with people in the Sierras, and she's doing all yeah, the scary made, parts of the Sierras by herself. Very true. Good, yeah. She made me and Hammer promise we'd stay right by her side through the whole Sierra. She was nowhere to be found, descending Whitney. Took off. I was there. You were there, just not with us. <laughs> we're at the campsite here, right on the north side of that river crossing. We were planning to stay here and then, because this is the last campsite on the map before starting our ascent at Forrester in the morning. Um, and then we decided we were going to try to walk a little further. The tricky thing is we're working off of old comments because none of us have had cell service to update our far out comments. And a lot of the comments that, that we've seen that are 10 days old <laughs> say there's lots of snow where we're at now. And there's no snow where we're at now except for a little patch here or there. So we were all set to stay here. Fireball's like, let's go further. We all start getting our shoes back on to go further. Hammer and I are ready to go. Then Fireball decides she wants to stay. We're not really sure what we're doing right this moment. Hammer wants to go ahead and do Forester tonight, just full send. Um, hike till midnight if we have to or whatever. I don't think we're gonna do that. Full send Forester. <laughs> Um, so I don't know. I think probably what we're going to do is try to start walking and get another mile or two in just to get us closer to Forrester, but that remains to be seen. Stay tuned. The verdict is in. The sky is getting dark and we're walking. No, there's no storm clouds. We're going to go ahead and walk, try to get another two miles in if we can, unless we hit a bunch of snow. Then we'll readjust our plans. This is wowza. Hi, Bubba. What are you doing? Okay, bye-bye, we gotta go. <laughs> we have gone about two miles from that campground and we're above tree line and there's nothing but water and mud. There's supposed to be a dry tent spot according to a comment a week or so ago. Um, another, I don't know, half mile or so up. We're hoping for that or hoping to find another dry spot at some point here. Until then, we just walk in in water. It's really good because there's been almost no snow. So that's, that's a big plus. It's 4.30 p.m. We are camped now. We're a few hundred yards off trail. Fireball was getting a little bit nervous about these clouds. And she found this good spot and it is a beautiful spot. We got water down below. We're kind of down in a bowl surrounded by mountains. Somewhere that way is Forester Pass. So we are 3.1 from the top of Forester Pass. So we haven't talked about exactly what time, but I think we'll start hiking about five o'clock because that's, that way we, it can be daylight. We don't have to be in the dark and with, with headlamps. But it would give us plenty of time to get up there early with the snows firm and down the other side. Um, so that's, that's kind of the plan for now. And man, this is beautiful. The more I look past this camera, I'm just in awe. We're sitting right here. 
And this marmot, I don't know where he went. He may be trying to get in the other side of Fireball's tent. He keeps coming right over here. Okay, here he's coming out right here, right next to Fireball's tent. Is he on my tent? He's about three feet from your tent. There are at least three marmots. One right there. One at the edge of the grass that you may not see. But what I turned the camera on is like, I know I've already shown this, but this is the most beautiful campsite anyone's ever had. No! No! Every time the jets go over, Fireball thinks it's thunder. I do a little we're zoom gonna action fight. here. We're gonna fight. Crazy. These marmots just like are walking all around us. It's like they're circling us, waiting for us to sleep. All right, everybody, I'm sitting in my tent, staring at this beautiful view, and I won't show it again because I've already shown it so many times. But today was a really good day. Forrester passed tomorrow. I'll be glad to be up and over Forrester. Um, kind of looking forward to it, just because uh, so much of this stuff so far has been a lot of hype and it's been a little easier than, than what we've anticipated. Um, but now is the time where I say good night and I'll see you tomorrow.